Yeah, um, well, Dan and I were friends when we were school kids together at um, Swan Lee Comprehensive and uh, it became apparent we had a similar interest in music. We liked stuff that was around at the time, Moody Blues, Spooky Tooth, a bit of Stones and Beatles like everybody did. And um, yeah, after a while we, we kind of got into a series of, uh, of bands and we, we sort of played at school or, or youth clubs or other places and we wrote some music. Uh, yeah, and, and it was great times and um, you know, a couple of years went by and we found ourselves into prog rock as it was then in the, uh, in the 70s. Uh, we, were, we were quite lucky actually because we had the, the Black Prince which is still around and you could get down there and watch Clapton or Genesis, Black Widow, Status Quo, loads of bands played there. Small venue but it was really nice and that just... Um, well, for us, it was great because it just um, it just pushed forward our interest in, in getting a band together and, uh, and making some interesting music. Um, also, we had at the time a drummer, a, a guy called uh, Thunderstick, uh, and uh, he wasn't known as that then. But we we played together in a band called Chinese Moon. Um, and Dan and I were, were were friends for several years, but. With, with Dan's move to, to Wales, I guess we lost contact for some time. And um, back in the 90s, uh, thankfully Dan re-established that and uh, we, we met up a few times in Cardiff and, uh, and in London uh, and in Berkshire uh, and I've stayed in touch. And then last year Dan had this great idea of getting Thunderstick on drums, uh, me on bass and, uh, and Dan on guitar and that we, we try and uh, relive our, our schoolboy band, Chinese Moon, and, um, and we did. We, we came here to the Piggery Studios in, uh, in Herefordshire, uh, and, uh, and we put together one track, that's the way it goes, uh, and we had, a, we had a great time. And uh, we, we kept that going over the last year. We've done a couple more Chinese Moon numbers since then, which has been really good. So, uh, living in Kent, uh, I guess we're blessed here with this whole Canterbury scene. Uh, I, I, I've seen some of those bands, particularly Soft Machine, uh, there was uh, Robert Wyatt and the whole uh, Matching Mole thing, Hatfield and the North, all those kind of bands. Really like those. And so I uh, approached Dan and said, how about if we got together uh, and um, did a, put together a band based on that sort of Canterbury sound? And Dan loved the idea. Uh, and of course, uh, being a producer and having uh, a lot of contacts, he was able to uh, put some feelers out and see who might be interested in uh, putting together a band with that kind of sound. We've been in the Piggery studios all day, Dan and I. We've got five numbers now for the Spires um, that we've collaborated on and we've, uh, we've laid down the bass. What we're looking to do is get an album together and uh, our deadline at the moment is February 2018. And uh, with five songs ready to go, we, we think we're in a, good, in a good place. So yeah, I'm a bit knackered. We've been here all day uh, and I've uh, been working quite hard. Um, I've had two bases here today. I've got the, the Fender Music Master, which is this chap here, which is would have been standard, except it's got a shallow bridge and uh, Seymour Duncan uh, quarter pounder pickup, which gives it a little bit of oomph. Uh, and then I've also got the other Fender, which is the, um, the Precision. And this chap is uh, a fretless over here, which we, we, we're using on our, um, our favourite song, The Last Harvest, uh, which we hope will give us a signature sound. And what I've done on The Last Harvest is I've brought back something of that um, Pino Palladino sound um, that was so uh, so uh, resonant in the in, in the 80s, and uh, a couple of pedals to, to support that. I've got an Ashdown um, Octaver, and uh, I've also got the bass clone, the HX uh, bass clone, and those two together, uh, with a little bit of reverb from the from the studio, uh, give that sound, which uh, we we felt that we haven't had enough of that recently. So uh, let's bring it back for this song. So yeah, it's been a fantastic day. 